or grace to you all in peace and perseverance and rest from our Lord Jesus Christ <clears throat> and the love of our Father and the most important person on earth at this time the person of the Holy Spirit. I also want to honor each and every one of you that's on the Zoom today. Please take your pens and papers and write these instructions. This is what Jesus said he wants us to do. Write what you see and hear on tablets. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him of things, take note, that will shortly take place. The time is at hand. The revelation of Jesus Christ. He said, four hours, each and every one of you, are to get a piece of paper and write four hours. Release. Restoration. Recovery. Revolution. And say it again. On the top of the paper, write heaven on earth. On top, write heaven on earth. This is what he wants us to do for the next seven days. Each time we come on the Zoom. Rest, restoration, recovery, revolution. Also put release there. So it's actually five. Release, rest, restoration, recovery, revolution. He said, glory from my face. Love from my heart. Power and might from my hand. He said, covenant from my face. Reward from my heart. Promises from my hand. Expect my face heart and hand to move according to the measure of your faith working by love that means whenever we come on the zoom you have to bring that vision what you just heard you bring it on the zoom Every night at second watch, you have to bring it on the Zoom and expect his face, his heart, his hand 
to move. Now, that's what he said also. This is the this is the time of the triplets. Triplets. What are the triplets? Suddenly. Immediately. Three and one. Exceedingly, abundantly, rapidly. Say it again. Suddenly. Immediately. And then the last three. Exceedingly, abundantly, rapidly. The third instruction. Each one of you are to go to your banks and get a withdrawal slip. I'm going to say it again. Each one of you are to go to your bank and get a withdrawal slip. Take note of that. Because he said it's time to bank in the glory. So on the withdrawal slip, you're going to write banking in the glory. Let me say it again. You are to go to your bank account, your bank, get a withdrawal slip. Why withdrawal? Because we are going to withdraw from heaven. But it says, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So on earth, you got to go to an earthly bank, see, to withdraw from the heavenly bank. Go to your banks. Get a withdrawal slip, not savings, not checking. Withdrawal slip. On the withdrawal slip, you're going to write banking in the glory. Deuteronomy 8.18. And bring it on the Zoom. On the withdrawal slip. Right, wisdom, riches, and wealth to do the Father's business. Let me show you. Let me show you the scripture. This is what Jesus says. Have faith in God. Matthew eleven twenty two. For I say unto you that what whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be you removed, and be be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt. If you're on the line and you have doubt, please don't do this. According to the measure of your faith. And shall not, watch this, shall not doubt in his heart. Watch this. But shall believe that those things which he saith. Or those things which he writeth. Shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. But let's put another one there. He shall have whatsoever he writeth. Therefore I say to you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray. Did everybody get it? So we are bringing our desires on the line to pray. And believe 
that ye receive them, you shall have them. Each and every one of you on the line, meditate on Matthew 11, 22 to 24, no, to 26, all throughout the day before you come on the Zoom. Let these words be seeds sown in your heart to uproot doubt. Let me say it again. Go to your bank account or your bank, sorry. Get a withdrawal slip. Remember what Jesus told Peter, go to the fish, go to the sea. The first fish that come out, catch it. He listened, he obeyed instruction. The first fish you're going to find, you will find gold in it. Pay your taxes, pay your taxes with it. Pay my task, my taxes and pay your taxes with it. Miracles, marvels, manifestations. That's all I've been hearing throughout the day. He said, miracles, marvels, manifestations, MMM. Write that on your withdrawal slip. But know where it's coming from. He said, the marvels are from my face. See, I'm showing you the reward of diligently seeking him. He's a rewarder of those who, when you diligently seek him, he become your rewarder. Then he starts with rewarding you by instruction. Right on the withdrawal slip. Heaven on earth. Because we are doing the father's business transactions. Just like Art was teaching. We're going to be doing business transactions between heaven and earth on this Zoom for the next seven days. So, to whom much is given, much is required. What is required of you? Your faith should be like a mustard seed. Meditate on Matthew 11, 22 to 26, all day before 9 p.m., wherever you are. All answers, requests, and petitions. I'm about to show you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. All right, if you are there, please, if you don't mind, can you please go to Can you please go to Ruth? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ruth. Three. Um, my from what what scripture do you say in Matthew again, please? Yes, it's Matthew eleven twenty two to twenty six. Then meditate on day and night. Huh? Meditate on it day and night, and your ways will you will prosper. That's mm -hmm. what he told Joshua. Meditate on the word day and night. Whenever God gives you a word, you don't just put it in your in your in your phone. You gotta meditate on it day and night. That's how you prosper. So, Ma so everybody, Matthew 11, 22, to, you should meditate on it day and night so that the seed can germinate. Do you know how many days it takes for the word to germinate in your heart? Three days. It become a part of you. It's like you're sowing on good ground, a good and honest heart. Mm -hmm. But all right, we can read Ruth 3, 8. Ruth 3, 8. Read mm -hmm. for and to verse. Uh, you can you can read till verse thirteen. Okay. Ruth chapter three verse eight, and it came to pass at midnight. Mm. It came to pass at what time? Midnight. Everybody, take note of that. It came to pass at midnight. Mm -hmm. That the man was afraid and turned himself. And behold, a woman lay at his feet. Mm. That's Boaz. 
At midnight, Ruth was laying at the feet of Boaz. Ruth and Boaz is a revelation of the bridegroom and the bride. So everybody take note. Mm -hmm. Nah. And he said, who art thou? And who she... are you? Mm. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And she answered, I am Ruth, thine handmaid. Mm. Spread therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid, for thou art near kinsman. Mm. Ten. And he said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my daughter, for thou hast showed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning. Mm. Inasmuch as thou followest not young men, whether poor or rich. I like verse 11. At, at verse 11, everybody, this is the key. At midnight, this is what takes place. At, uh -huh. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou requestest. Mm. For all the city of my people doeth know that thou art a virtuous woman. All right. When does Jesus do everything that we request? Midnight. Midnight. Hmm. So each and every one of you, as we seek his face and his heart from nine, by midnight, things will be coming to pass. And in the morning, you see the manifestation. If when he, or jump to, okay, you, you keep going, they'll see it. Mm -hmm. This is midnight, right? You're talking about midnight. Yes. I will do to thee all thou requesteth. That's at midnight. Let's see what happened in the morning. Mm -hmm. Well, and now it is true that I am thy near kinsman. How bet there is a kinsman nearer than I. Tarry this night and it mm. shall be morning. Mm. Say that again, my friend. Tarry this night and it shall be in the morning. It shall be, Corey. I mean, sorry, Art. It shall be. What does it mean? Manifestation. Manifestation. It shall be. So, everybody, do you see the difference between midnight and the morning? Midnight, things come to pass, but manifestations happen in the morning. Amen. So, all of us, we have to bring, we, we're going to go over it again, what we have to write and what we have to bring midnight. Verse 14. Mm. 14. And she lay at his feet until the morning. Mm, my friend. Yeah. Wow. She lay. That's his wow. feet till morning. Now, that's petitioning right there. Come on, somebody. She's like, I'm not getting up till I get it. Mm. She lay at the feet of Boaz until the morning time. Mm. Uh huh. And she rose up before one could know another. Mm -hmm. And he said, let it not be known that a woman came into the floor. My God. All right, one more for the people of God. Exodus 16, verse 4. Everybody take notes. Yes. Exodus 16, 4 reads, Then said the Lord to Moses, mm -hmm. Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. Mm. From where, my friend? From heaven. Mm -hmm. He said, I will rain bread from heaven. Now that's Moses. What about you? So rain come from heaven. What would, that's why I said in, remember in the beginning, remember what he said? Heaven on earth. What do you want him to rain from heaven on earth? For Moses, he said, I'll rain bread. What about you? What do you want him to rain from heaven on earth. But I have to teach you something. How rain is formed before it pours. Oh, it's very, very, very important. Don't miss that. 
Mm-hmm. I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day. Every day. That I may prove them whether mm. they walk with my law or no. Mm. Keep going. And it shall come to pass that I like, on the I like day, that one. My friend, you said, and it shall come to pass. And it came mm -hmm. to pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they ah. shall hear that which they bring in. Mm -hmm. And it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. Mm. And Moses and Aaron said to all the children of Israel, at even, at evening, mm -hmm. then ye shall know that the Lord hath brought you out from the land of Egypt. Testimony. Even in time, do you will know what the Lord has done. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. And in the morning, come on, then, mm-hmm. Mm. Then shall ye see the glory. See. So, all right. What time do we see the glory of God? Morning. Morning. That's why Ruth was laying at the feet of Boaz. Till morning. How about somebody? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you are on the line and you want to see the glory of God, and you want to see the hand of God. See, the midnight is his hand. Morning time is his face. Then, being at his feet is the key. Two. In a little bit, let me teach you how to watch this. Set the atmosphere for rain to pour. He said, I will rain bread from heaven. So, everybody, what do you want the Father to rain from heaven on, on your behalf? So, before we teach on that one, let's go over the instructions again. The first one. R, 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 R. Five R's. Release. What is he going to release from heaven? For you. Restoration. Rest. Recovery. Revolution. Remember what he said. Glory from my face. That's morning. That means everybody at midnight. You have already received it. Oh, but I don't see it. That's not faith. Faith is Matthew eleven twenty two. My friend, can you go there again? That Matthew eleven twenty two to twenty six. Okay. All of us on the line, you should eat it like a buffet. Eat, eat the word. Day and night. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter eleven verse twenty two. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. But I say unto you, I say it, unto you. It's in red, right, my friend? Yes, red letters. If, if, so if it's in red, it's coming from heaven. Everyone on the line. This is Jesus' mm. words are from the Father. The red words are from the Father. So that's him and the Father speaking. That means mm. they are in agreement to this. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But I say unto you, mm -hmm. it shall be more tolerable. For Tyree and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. Oh, is that, is that, that's Matthew eleven twenty two. Yes. Oh, sorry. Um. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Actually, it's it's Mark eleven. Sorry, Mark eleven twenty 
22. Everybody take notes. Mm -hmm. Book of Mark chapter 11, verse 22 reads, And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. Uh, the first thing he says, he didn't say have love. He didn't say have hope. He said have faith. And faith come by what? Hearing, not seeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Faith come by hearing and hearing the word. That's how you please the Father. So you are hearing the word right now. Mm -hmm. Have faith in God. Mm -hmm. hmm. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Mm. All right. We are going to speak to certain mountains. Oh. We are going to speak to the earth. We are going to speak to our bank accounts. We are going to speak to sicknesses. Whosoever shall say, you see, the reason why the mountain is there, it hasn't heard your voice yet. Yes, Lord. The debts are there because the debt has not heard your voice. The first thing we're going to do, we're doing exactly what Jesus said. Whosoever shall say to the... So what is your mountain? You need to write that down in the vision. Mm -hmm. Because when we come on, when we come on at 9 p.m., we are speaking to mountains first. You see, we're doing it in his order. He said, whosoever. This is not for people who are just anointed. It can be anyone. See, God created heaven and earth. God created the mountain. That's why he said, have faith in... So you got to have the God kind of faith to speak. No. He said, whosoever shall say to this mountain... Everyone on the line, what is your mountain? Yeah, that's what you, you should do. When we come during second watch, which is 9 p.m. to 12 midnight, bring your mountain. Wow. <laughs> My God, bring your mountain. That mountain. Mm -hmm. Whosoever shall say to this mountain. So all right, it's not just a mountain we're going to speak to. We're going to speak to anything. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. That whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Mm -hmm. Be thou removed. So let's practice that, my friend. We shall mm -hmm. say to our student loans, be ye cancelled. Yes. If you don't have faith, don't even try it. That's what I'm saying. Meditate in the word day and night before you talk. If the word is not in your heart, you cannot release it from your mouth. There is no power. Let me say it again. Yes. The faith must be sown in your heart and released by your mouth for it to work through love. Mm. Your heart and your mouth must be in agreement with the word. Your, he says, he said, watch this. They say they love me with their lips, but their heart is far. You see? Mm -hmm. If your heart is far, and your lip is talking, nothing will work. That's why you must work on your mouth to heart coordination. How? Oh. Meditate on this word day and night. Look, when you go to sleep, put Matthew, sorry, Mark 11, 22 on repeat on your phone. Let it play throughout the night. Mm -hmm. You get up in the morning, you play it on your audio. Everywhere you go, you are, I'm telling you, you are fulfilling his word. Mm -hmm. So, all right, first we're going to speak to mountains and we're going to give them commands. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Mm. This is the, this is the, this, this right here is imperial anointing. This is the, this scripture is for kings and emperors. And sons, this is what you call creative miracles because you are in the God realm speaking to mountains. 
what mountain is before you? You have not yet said be removed. So it's still there. You are praying, but it's still standing there because it's waiting for a command, not a prayer. <sighs> oh. So we're not going to be praying. We're going to be commanding. That means, yes, Lord, I will tell them, mm -hmm. they must ask me first for the kingly anointing before they speak because you are a king. And kings give commands. Be thou removed. And what will happen when you speak to it? Mm -hmm. But be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea mm -hmm. and shall not doubt in his heart. That's the key, Art. Amen. Many are praying, but they have doubt in their heart. Is he really going to heal me? Is Jesus really going to do that miracle? The fact that you are, have doubt, it won't happen. That's why the only thing that removes doubt is faith. That's what he said in the beginning. Have faith in God. So as we come on and second watch, my friends, if you have doubts in your heart, you'll be disappointed. But if you have faith, you will move mountains. Not only mountains, you move heaven as the man of God will teach you. Faith works by love. Love brings heaven on earth. That's awful. I hope all of you are listening. Love is what brings heaven on earth. But faith is what takes earth to heaven. <laughs> You cannot ascend to heaven without faith. And heaven will not come down on your behalf without love. So you need these two. But here, Jesus said first, have faith in God. You don't, don't leave love alone for now. First, let me work on the first one, faith. Mm. You will realize when art finished, love is at the end. When you pray, forgive. <laughs> Uh, take note, everybody take note of that. Faith is how Jesus began the scripture and love is how he ended the scripture. Oh, come on, my friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. You shall say to this mountain, why is it that, my friend, so-called believers, when sicknesses, diseases, or problems arise, they start to complain and murmur. They talk more about their problem than their helper, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. so take note of that mm -hmm. please keep going be thou cast into the city and shall not doubt in his heart mm -hmm. shall believe mm -hmm. that those things which thou hast saith shall mm -hmm. come to pass. there you go that's why he said art right, tell them to get paper write those things they are believing on the paper. Now, believe is not your mind. Your heart. You can believe something, but your heart doubts it. Don't write what you don't believe he can't do. You, you can get attacked by Satan. The seven sons of Sceva mentioned the name of Paul and they got whipped. Oh. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Take note of that. Believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. That's how miracles happen. That's how manifestations. Believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. Life and death is where? In the power of the tongue, see? So imagine life being in your, sorry. Imagine life being in your heart mm -hmm, and power being in your tongue. What will happen? Not death. You don't want to speak death. Imagine the tree of life in your heart and your mouth has power to release that tree of life in your heart, in the atmosphere, what will happen? Life. Mm -hmm. Do not doubt. Have faith in God. How do you have faith in God? By meditating on what he's reading all day and night so that when we gather, Amen. your expectation is how in the God realm. 
have mm. faith in God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't have faith in anything. See, I love Jesus' instruction, my friend, what he said. Have, the first thing he said, have faith in God. He didn't say have faith in your job. Mm-hmm. He didn't say have faith in money. No, have faith in God. So this is the God kind of faith. Mm-hmm. What else did he say? But you shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. All right. Whatsoever. He saith, he writeth. If you hmm. believe in your heart and you say it, you shall have them. Hmm. So imagine you believing in your heart that I will have a thousand face to face visitations. You will have them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I shall have a thousand face to face visitations with Jesus in 2024. Hmm. I'm all right, I've already lost count. That's the first eight days. I've lost count. Mm-hmm. Because he because he taught me this. Watch this. Have faith in God. That's face to face too. Mm-hmm. Everybody say no to that. You are not experiencing what you are asking. Because do you believe? You see, believe is your heart. He said, don't have, so watch this. There's nothing wrong with having doubts in your mind. Just don't have it in your heart. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mind battles is doubt. But if you have doubts in your heart, mm -mm. you will release doubt, not faith. Mm -hmm. Everybody take notes of that. You you shall have what you say. Mm. What are you going to have when we say it? That's marvels, miracles, manifestations, breakthroughs. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Verse 24. Therefore say, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray. When you pray. So all right, you can desire something all you want. I desire to marry. I desire to. But if you don't pray, come on, somebody. See? Whatever you desire. The next thing he said is pray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Believe that you receive them and ah. you shall. So Art, we, we're praying right now. Lord, let's, we touch and agree. We touch and agree with Art right now that you visit us face to face. Boom. We already received it. Mm-hmm. That's what he just said. Art, can you read that again? Everybody, I'm, I'm trying to teach you faith. That you are, you've already received it before it manifests. My God in heaven. Mm. Therefore, I say to you, mm. what things soever you desire when mm-hmm. you pray, mm-hmm. believe that you receive them and you there shall. You there you go, Art. Oh. Believe that you've already received it. Ah. So, everybody, let's start praying right now. Yes, Lord, wash me in the blood. You are washed. <laughs> but I don't feel. You see, feeling is doubt. My God. I, I feel like flying too, my friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't feel washed. Feelings is not faith. I don't feel change. Feelings is not change. And change is not feeling. Mm-hmm. I love it. He said, when you des- whatever you desire, you pray. Believe you have already received it. So everybody, belief is what make you see, not seeing to believe. Mm, my God, Jesus mm-hmm. said, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. The world right. says you got to see to believe, not heaven. Mm-hmm. Heaven says you have to believe first before you see. Mm-hmm. So, art. Why are we not see manifestations? Belief of the heart. The belief in the heart is not in oneness with the manifestation. If you are believing for healing, you must hear scriptures about healing before it manifests. Or testimonies of healing. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
Because the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. So, everyone on the line, take note. Your heart, watch this, is the desire and prayer room of manifestation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone on the line, <laughs> make your heart a room of desires and prayers without season. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what the Bible, Bible says. Pray without season. Yes. Can you please read that again? Everybody online, this is it. Hmm. Matthew 11, verse 24. Therefore, I say unto you, mm -hmm. whatsoever you desire when <laughs> you pray, when you read, receive them, mm -hmm. and you have them. So, Art, while we are praying, what do we? What are we thinking? What are we saying? We've, we've already received it while we are praying. Mm. Everybody, while you are praying in tongues, you've already received it. You're not waiting for an answer. Come on, somebody. God. Mm. Mm. Come on, my friend. It's midnight. Mm. I can't fly. That's cool. Unless I become an owl at night. But come on, my friend. Everybody, while you are praying, you've already received it. So you're not waiting for an answer. <laughs> That's what he says. Wait, it, it, oh, can you please read it again? That's important. <laughs> Therefore, I say to you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. Believe. Have them. So, or right, how do I have them? I have to first one, believe. That mm -hmm. I've already received it, then I'll have it. So people are right, watch this. They are waiting to have it before they receive it. No. I believe I have already received the thousand visitations and I'm having them. There you go. So uh -huh. Please keep going. That's very, 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 wow. And you shall have them. What do you want to have? That's what you write on the paper. Now, everybody, the, the last one, your withdrawal slip. What are you writing on your withdrawal slip? You're writing what? Heaven on earth. Deuteronomy 818. Remember that? Mm -hmm. But on your withdrawal slip, you're writing wisdom, riches, and wealth. To do the father's business. Because Deuteronomy 8.18 says. The law give you power to get wealth. To establish his covenant. That means whatever God is going to do. Or he has promised you. It takes wisdom, riches and wealth. For it to manifest on the earth. So whatever God has promised you. He's going to give you the riches and wealth. To manifest it. Watch this. Not for you. For his covenant. Mm. God don't give you riches and wealth to make you wealthy it's for his covenant with you to be established when you have that heart he can trust you with trillions that the father is giving me this wisdom riches and wealth mm -hmm, to establish his covenant it's not for me to boast or flex mm -hmm. so everyone on the line your heart has to be pure while you're writing the vision Okay, this wisdom, riches, and wealth God is giving me, it's not for me to go on vacation with the money. It's to do his business on the earth. So everybody write it down on your withdrawal slip. Wisdom, riches, and wealth to do the Father's business. Now watch this. Bible says, money answereth all things. One, money is a weapon of war. Two, and wisdom is better than weapons of war. Hmm. You cannot go to war without money. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wisdom, it says money is a weapon of war. It's not for luxury. Money hmm. is a weapon. Hmm. And wow. money also is an answer. Come on, somebody. Come on, my friend. Everybody mm -hmm. read it. It's Ecclesiastes says, money 
answers all things. So money answers things, but love answers the heart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. So when God want to answer some things, he give you money to do it. But you got to watch your heart. Love mm -hmm. answers the heart, but money answers things. Wow, that's good. So if you don't have love in your heart, mm. you have faith in money. <laughs> Come on. Have faith in God. God is love. <laughs> so the Lord is saying he wants to answer things in your life in this season and he wants to give you money but your heart has to be in love with him so that when the money he give you don't make your heart corrupted or polluted now everybody on the line this is it he said tell them to ask me for bigger things so don't write something small on your vision board it has to be big Mm -hmm. But Art, right, please finish that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Verse 25. Mark mm. 11. And when you stand praying, forgive. <sighs> mm. When you stand praying, forgive. That means, Art, right, unforgiveness is what brings doubt. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, mm. yeah, yes. Come on, did somebody catch that? He says, when you stand praying, forgive. But what did he say before in 24? He says, whatever you desire, pray. Okay, so watch this. This is very, very deep. Unforgiveness can destroy your desire to pray. Mm -hmm. My God, did somebody catch that? I said, you can have desires, but if you have unforgiveness, you can't pray. Mm -hmm. oh my God. So we're gonna do it on the line too. When we stand to pray, that means everybody, wherever you are, if you are driving, don't stand. You might you might hit a truck. Please don't stand. <laughs> but everyone on the line, when you stand to pray, that means when it's time to pray, we're gonna be standing. Nobody's sitting. See, we are do what Jesus said. He said, When you stand to pray, first thing you're gonna do is what? Forgive. Forgiveness are, removes doubt from the heart. Mm -hmm. Then now you shall have, that means, wow, unforgiveness are, is oh. really blocking many people's desires for manifesting. Yes, Lord. Unforgiveness is shutting doors. But who wants doors to open? When you stand to knock, mm -hmm. let's break it down. Art. When you stand to ask, it will be given. When you stand to seek, you will find. Come on. When you stand to knock, it will be open. But mm. you cannot ask. Watch this. If you ask and you don't receive, everyone on the line, it's because you have unforgiveness. See? Here you go. Ask, it shall be given. Okay? So why wasn't it given to you when you asked? Unforgiveness. I'm letting you know what's coming between your asking, your seeking, and your knocking. Ask and it shall be given. It wasn't given because when you stand, you didn't forgive. Seek and you will find. Are we not finding what we are seeking because unforgiveness is the blockage? Yes. Knock, it shall be open. If you want doors of heaven and on earth to open while you are knocking, forgive. That means unforgiveness shut doors. Yes. So while you are meditating on this day and night, also meditate on forgiving. Mm. Mm -hmm. When you stand to pray, forgive, uh -huh, my friend. And if you have art against any, mm. come on, my friend. If you have an art against any, take note of that. It could be your dog. He said any. You can have art against your fridge. 
Like you get mad because your fridge or your something's not working. You don't want to have fought against any. Come on, somebody. See how Jesus is breaking it down? Now he's in the love realm, the forgiveness realm. If you have an art against anyone, what did he say, Art? Forgive. Forgive. Watch this. God cannot give if you don't fall. Oh. <laughs> don't miss that. God cannot give if you don't fall. Yes, Lord. So, another vision board. If anyone has done you wrong, write their name down. Because remember the hours? What was one? Release. Release them. He said, if you release them, he will release from heaven. Yes. There you go. Everyone. Has someone done you wrong? You, you might not see the consequences of unforgiveness, what it does to you when it comes to intimacy and especially communion. While, watch this art. While everybody's getting healed of cancer, do you know why Jesus don't heal certain people? Now you see why. The reason why many don't receive from him, they have unforgiving. That's why we must lead the people to forgive before he moves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So who want to see miracles, signs, and wonders? Who want to see Jesus' hand move in intimacy, in all things? The number one thing we must do throughout the day, and even on the Zoom, forgive. Say, my father, release him. He said, my mom, release her. Whoever it is, you must release them before you pray. Or yes. you will not have those things you are saying. You will say to the mountain, be removed, and the mountain will stay. Because the mountain will tell you, you have not forgiven your dad. Wow. <laughs> wow. The mountain will tell you, I'm not moving. All right. Have you seen those deliverances where the demons say they won't leave? Yes. Absolutely. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because the person that they are living in has unforgiveness. So they won't leave. Yes. That yes. is why it takes deliverance masters, or sorry, people in deliverance ministry, a long time for a demon to leave. But you see, when Jesus spoke, what did he say? Go one time and the demon left. Why? Because Jesus was only a son, but he was carrying love. Remember what he said? Who is this man that he can forgive sin? So watch this. Jesus will, I, first, I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus will first forgive them of their sin before he healed them. That's why he said one word, the demon left. Because their sins were forgiven. Mm -hmm. wow. Everybody take note of that. So forgiveness paves the way for breakthrough. So every time we come on, everyone on the line, that's what we're going to be doing more. Who are you holding unforgiving towards? That's what's blocking your face-to-face -face visitation. I'm telling you right now, the number one is really offense. Offense is the trap right but unforgiveness is the cheese like a mouse you know when you mouse go to the trap it want cheese it take the bait offense is the trap but the cheese is anger so you take the bait when someone do you wrong you are trapping offense mm -hmm. We shall have what we say, but before we say it, examine your heart. If you have doubt on the line, I'm telling you the root right now. It's not because you don't believe somebody you haven't forgiven. You can believe that Jesus is the son of God, but you have unforgiveness. That's why he said, wherever you go, preach, 
repentance and forgiveness of sin in my name. So everybody, please meditate on that day and night before we come on the Zoom. So let's open the line now. Is there anything you are missing in the vision board? Any questions? Any questions you are missing, missing in the vision board? You can please ask. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kofi. Yes, please. So we're bringing our mountains that, so we're bringing our mountains and what else, What whatever we're believing for? That's right. So first you are bringing your mountain. Mountain can be fear. A mountain is something, watch this. L let me break down what a mountain is. It's hard to remove it. Mm hmm your mountain can be fear, your mountain can be addiction, your mountain can be an idol, whatever your mountain is, it's a reoccurring problem like I'm fasting, I'm praying, this thing is still there, it is not the problem no more, it's a mountain. Amen. So mountain is something that's bigger than you. So you are bringing your mountain. One. See that? After the mountain, then now you are bringing your desires. Okay. Those things you are believing him for. We're going to be praying. Watch this. He told me we're going to be doing 24 hour turnaround prayers. That means in 24 hours. See? Day and night. 12 hours is for the day. 12 hours is for the night. He said write it down. 24 hour turnaround. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, anything else? Thank you. That's it? Okay, good. You got your withdrawal slip? I will be going to pick it up tomorrow. I'll okay. do that in the morning. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else today? Thank Our Father. Thing. Sorry. Oh. Yes, go ahead. So with the word withdrawal slip, is it one or three withdrawal slips? One. Okay. Just one. You're going to write on it, heaven on earth, wisdom, riches, and wealth to do the Father's business. Deuteronomy 8.18. See that by what are you, you are meditating on what? That Mark 11.22, day and night. Mm -hmm. okay. But remember what he said. Money is a weapon of war. So the last thing I was going to say is on your withdrawal slip, you are going to write the amount you are expecting heaven to release on earth for you. Watch this. To be a blessing to others. Because God bless you to bless others. He promote you to bless others. Everything he do is for others, not for you only. Amen. That's why your heart must be meek before you pray. Lord, grant me face to face. He will tell you, ask it for others also. Mm -hmm. So always remember, everyone, whatever you are writing on that withdrawal slip will be a blessing to others as well. Mm -hmm. So write that amount you are expecting him to release from heaven on earth to establish his covenant with. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Also, it's in the chat. So if you want, if you want the instructions, it's in the chat. Any questions today? Exactly what the man of God was saying. This this must be a beautiful burden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Shay, I have one question. Yes, um, please. Okay. This sounds crazy, but I don't have a withdrawal slip because the way my bank is set up is through Walmart, so we don't have those things. Could it be on paper? Yes, you can. You can you can you can put it on paper also. Okay. Mm -hmm. All we are doing is everything we are doing, everybody, is an act of faith. Basically, we are moving before God moves. You are doing your part. Okay, Father. Okay. Yes, Lord. He said, he said, this is a good example. Watch this. Before the fire will come from heaven, what did Elijah do? He prepared the wood. Is everybody catching it? The fire didn't just come from heaven. No. Elijah first prepared the altar, the wood first. Then the fire came. So your, what you are doing is your wood. You are preparing the wood for the answers, the manifestation, the fire to come on your wood. Come on, somebody. See that? Mm -hmm. You are like Elijah. You are preparing the way. You are, you are doing your part. Father, this is my vision board. Mm -hmm. You are doing your part in the agreement. Father, I am going to the fish mouth. That's the bank. <laughs> come on, somebody. I am going to the fish mouth. That's the bank. Because that was Jesus' bank. Was the fish mouth. Mm -hmm. I am going to the fish mouth. And I'm going to get a withdrawal slip. That is the gold in the fish mouth. And I'm writing the vision. And I'm making it plain, Father, according to your word. Mm -hmm. And it shall be what? Done. There's no doubt. Because when you love someone, you believe and trust what they can do. Mm -hmm. That's what intimacy is all about. Intimacy with Jesus make you trust him to do the impossible. Mm -hmm. So no doubt when we come on the line, you should be full of faith. That's what the Bible says. Stephen was a man full of faith and full of power. Doing miracles signs and wonders among the people. See, two things Stephen had. He was full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit. Everybody, you got to be full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit when you come home. That means your expectation is full. Mm -hmm. And he will be wonderful to you. See, marvel lost to you. So, by grace, tomorrow we're going to come on the line with our vision board of all you have heard and said we're going to be we're going to be speaking to the mountain please throughout the day what i ask lord anoint me as a king you need the kingly anointing to say to the mountain see that and then what what else lord give me a forgiving heart to release those who have done me wrong see because I'm telling you right now, the wealth and riches, meaning the money he's going to give you, I tell you the truth. That money he's going to give you, he's going to tell you to bless that person who wronged you. Be ready. Bible says he's kind to the evil. I'm letting you know right now. That's what he told Job. Job blessed his friends who became his enemy. So I'm letting you know right now, the blessing you are asking for, he's going to tell you to bless those who curse you. So you got to prepare your heart. Let me say it again. God will not tell you, bless those who curse you when he bless you and he don't send you to bless those people who curse you. That's when you got to forgive so that when the blessing comes, you are willing to bless them. Mm -hmm. So we will take note of that. So be ready to bless both friends and enemies when it comes. I'm, I'm preparing you. Yes. One day the Lord blessed me and said, take this one out to IHOP. Ooh. I was immature during that time, but the person took $10,000, Lord, of my, of my, Tax returns, he said, forgive and release him.
he's your friend. Mm. How do you see your enemy as your friend? Only Jesus can give you that kind of heart. How about you see that? I lost $10,000 and I have to feed somebody $50 at IHOP. I'm telling you, when he bless you, he will tell you, take the person who did you wrong out to eat. <laughs> and don't bring it up. You cannot bring up the conversation when you say them, take them there. No, you are loving them. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Lord, your will be done. See, that's what it means. Your will be done. It is his will to love your enemies. It is his will to bless those who curse you. It is his will. His will is his way. I tell you the truth. When he cancel your debts, meaning your debts, your student loans, he give you money, he going to tell you, go cancel this person's debt also. But that's the very person who's talking bad about you. <laughs> See? Your reward is in persecution. Yes, my friends. Practice what you preach. I cannot preach what, I've not, what I don't practice. Then I'm a hypocrite. No. Take this person shopping. Now, I was meek, but I wasn't quiet on the inside. Lord, but he will teach me meekness and quietness. Or just be obedient while you are suffering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. So, remember, Bible says, no, there's a saying that says, Kill them with kindness. Mm -hmm. He is kind to who? The unthankful and the evil. So not only will you be a blessing to your friends, but I'm telling you, when the Father bless you, watch this. Jesus said, the Father makes it rain on both the just and the unjust. Take note of that. The Father makes it rain as blessing on the just and the unjust, that means people who have done you injustice, he will tell you, make it rain on them. I'm, it, okay. All right, can you go to Luke? Luke right. 6. Mm -hmm. Luke 6. Luke 6, start from 20, I believe. Let me see. Mm -hmm. And he lifted up his eyes to his disciples. Let's see. Luke. Mm -hmm. 22. Yes, 22. Luke 6, verse 22 reads, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, mm. and, and when they shall separate you from their company. One second, Art. Art, how does how does your blessing come? Through hate. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody hearing on the line? If you're not going through hatred, your blessing is not coming. Oh, somebody. <laughs> Blessed are ye, my friend, when men shall hate you. If you are not going through hatred, don't expect blessing. Mm. So I'm letting you know right now, God hides your blessing in those who hate you. Wow. <laughs> so you who are trying to avoid confrontation, oh, uh, I don't like to be people who hate me. I like my peace. You can you can be blessed. I'm sorry. No. Wolf, mm. lame among wolf. Take note. Uh -huh. My friend, can you teach us right now? How oh, does the Father bless us? Mm -hmm. Blessed are ye. Mm -hmm. When men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. All right, can I say this if you don't mind? Hmm. This might be a weird prayer. Lord, send me more haters. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
some, some people are like, nah, I ain't praying that prayer. <laughs> but he, but that way, look. <laughs> Help but, his father. That, but that's it. No haters, no blessing. Fair dogs. Yeah, that's it. That's Lord, it. Lord, I pray that they will separate me from their company. No. Uh oh. Okay, all right. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> and it happened, my friend. They separated me from their prophetic conference, their prophetic organization, their prophetic company. Uh -huh. Coffee doesn't belong among the prophets, so we have cast him out of the church. Yes, Lord. Answer prayer. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. While many are trying to fit in. Wow. The Lord is saying, I'm trying to make them separate you. Or somebody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or somebody. Wow. They shall separate you from their company. So if they if they fire from that job, a blessing is coming. Oh. Hallelujah. If they separate you from the church, you are going. A blessing is coming. How about you see it? They shall. It's a prophecy. It's you cannot change this one. This one is eternal. It will they shall separate you from their company. Hmm. You are friends with them all of a sudden. We don't want nothing to do with you. You are blessed. Mm -hmm. We don't like the face to face though. Come on. <laughs> now you'll get separated quick about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Very, 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 very quick. Mm -hmm. And That's shall it. reproach. Go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. And shall what? Reproach you. Go ahead, my friend. Mm. And cast out your name as evil. Mm. They don't want <laughs> that one, Art. Y'all want, want that on the line, Art? <laughs> mm. Eh? Do you want your name on YouTube ever on the line and them calling you evil, false? Mm. Okay, I'm not getting no unmuted line saying amen tonight. They were expecting blessings from the houses for the cars. No, that's not God's way. Your name must be spilled as evil before he bless you. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Okay, uh, my friend, I'm not. We're not getting no agreements on the on the chat right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not getting no amens on the line right now. Uh oh, amen means agreement. Come on, somebody. There ain't no agreements right now. It's a lot of um. Mm -hmm. What are we amen, getting? Amen, 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 amen. They're like, man, oh, I don't know about this man right here. I don't know what he's teaching right now. I'm... Hey, hey, my friend. Yes. You, you remember the scripture, a good name is more precious than ointment. That's but, right. But no name is more valuable than that. That's right. You know, yeah. a lot of people try to, try to cultivate a good name, per mm -hmm. se, at the expense of the greater, which is no name for his no name. name. Come on. Because watch this. The good name tie you to the anointing. Come on. But the glory, no name. No name. My friend, you got to say that again. Come on. Somebody catch that. Mm. Say that again, my friend. Mm. The, the good name marry you to the anointing, but mm -hmm. to, to be without reputation, marry you to that's the right. glory. To the glory. That's, a, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say, my friend. You have to make yourself of no reputation to walk in glory. Yeah, Meaning, and they... And as you know, my friend, a lot of leaders are faced with the, the risk of losing their name. Come on. To walk in glory, and they choose not to. Mm -hmm. and, and they're watch this. Mm -hmm. Everybody heard what the man of God just said? All right, this is the key to face to face. He just said it. If you want face to face, you have to lose your name and your face. Wow. Your name, your face, meaning your image. Wow. For wow. his image, for his name, for his likeness. And, cool. and he's saying it. They want the anointing, but they don't want the glory.
Because the glory, my friend, you have to suffer. One of the sufferings is your name will be tarnished. Mm. Yes, go ahead, my friend. What were you saying? Mm. Wow, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's that, you, yeah, just shine a light on that stumbling block. You know that many leaders are uh faced with but cut mm -hmm. over um, if they relinquish themselves from the integrity of that scripture. See, mm -hmm. that's a a good name is more precious than anointment. So right. you know, they cultivate this idea with a clear conscience. Mm -hmm. Cause there is um a blessing in cultivating a good name, but the greatest level is no name. And then no name. you get then then you get a new name. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, so you can't be nameless. That mm -hmm. that's that position you for a new name. A new name. Because Jesus lost his name and now he's Christ. Yes, Lord. <laughs> now he's Christ so it was no. Jesus on the cross but the resurrected one is Christ the new name mm -hmm. and, and this is real big in family churches where where the where, where there's church heritage and the name gotta be preserved so mm -hmm. there's some truth they can allow to come into the culture of belief there because it's against our forefathers. Come on. Convictions. We, we mm -hmm. can't name. So we ain't receiving nothing new. That's right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mary is Proverbs 22 verse 1. A good name. She just went on Facebook. I mean, on the chat. There you go. Proverbs 22 verse 1. That's what it says. Because I, I used to think like that, my friend. You know, mm -hmm. but when I ran across that scripture, it compels you to guard your name in a sense. That's right. But that's that's a that's a level you pass through unto glory. Unto glory. Mm. Wow. Mm. So let's finish that one. Bless it. Come on, somebody. Mm hmm Blessed, verse, Luke 6, chapter 6, verse 22. Mm -hmm. Blessed are you when men shall hate you mm. and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Mm, see, or you don't want your name cast as evil for your name. Hmm. Mm. But for his name's sake. Come on, somebody. Somebody catch that? Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Rejoice ye in that day. Wow. Rejoice. Wow. It is say, go around. Oh, Lord. What are they talking about me? What did I do wrong? No. Rejoice. In that day. In that day. Come on, somebody. Wow. Mm-hmm. For joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. In heaven. Wow. Mm -hmm. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Unto the prophets. Mm -hmm. But woe unto you that are rich. <laughs> for you have received your consolation. Mm-hmm. Woe unto you that are full, mm. for you shall hunger. Mm. Woe unto you that laugh now, mm. for you shall mourn and weep. Mm. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of art. Right, this is it. Did everybody hear that? Woe unto you when all men speak well of you. What does that make you art? Wow. wow. <laughs> Everybody, wow. don't miss this one. 
for mm-hmm. so did their fathers to the false prophets. Can I can I tell uh, you the truth on the uh, line? Uh, if wow. if people speak well of you, you are a false prophet. Wow. Wow. If they speak evil of you, you are a true prophet. <laughs> How no Come on now. Ever seen that scripture, my friend? Mm-hmm. My goodness. Did everybody catch that? So people who, who oh oh I'm I say to all of you in the line. Oh, Prophet Kofi is a no, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear he's this, he's that. I want to hear the negative. I don't want to hear the positive. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> <on>, somebody. <laughs> My friend, you see that? When all men speak well of you, meaning they don't say anything bad about you. You have false wow. prophets. Can you see what's going on, my friend? I, I even feel my heart broken right now. Look on YouTube. The very people that are talking bad about prophets on the on the they are the true prophets. Mm-hmm. 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 The false prophets, you don't hear anything bad about them. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Can everybody please chew on that word? See what Jesus said? It's written in red. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. Wow. So I'm sorry, Art. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear people speaking well of me sometimes. No. It means I'm becoming false. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. No, I'm becoming false. No, Lord. No, 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 no. No, Lord. I need more. Any more speaking evil of me? Yes. Mm-hmm. Satan hire somebody to talk about me. <laughs> Come on, my, well, you gotta be meek. Everyone on the line, you have to be meek to be able to carry the weight of this scripture. Mm. You have to be meek. Like Ark was saying, you care about your name, you care about your image, you care about what people think or say. Ah, you can't fulfill this one. You have to have humility. Watch this. That don't worry about what people think or say. That means you gotta die to self for this scripture to be fulfilled. Woe unto you when all men speak well of you. My God. So, all right, we are calling false true and true false. Yes. Mm, my God. Mm hmm. Is somebody catching that? So be careful out there. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about it, but I have to. You know, TB Joshua. Mm-hmm. I have to. Look what look what BBC is doing to him. Is everybody see? Uh, I know maybe maybe some of you have not seen it. He's one of my fathers in the Lord. Mm-hmm. I never met him one on one, but in dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, two months before he left the earth, I was in Nigeria with him in the dream. Mm-hmm. And Jesus was telling me he's my friend and he's about to take him home. And that, you know, the mantles of the prophets, he's going to leave it on earth. So everybody watch this. Please listen to what Jesus tell you about someone, not the media. I'm gonna say it again. That's why I I I love what um Courtney wrote on her her Facebook recently. Courtney, what you were what you wrote on your Facebook recently? Where she is she, is she there? What did you write recently? The flood of gossip. I like how she put it. Wow. Courtney, open your line. Where where is she? It's an amazing revelation she said. Mm-hmm. That 2024 hit and the floods of gossip, slander, and fault finding. Basically, that the floods of Gossip, slander, and fault finding proceeded. That's what I said. Mm, that's it. Huh? No, I was, I was saying, I was saying, see, she, she said flood. So how many people are drowning already? Drowning in gossip and mm. everybody remember the visitation we said on the line that a flood hit the earth, right? And Jesus said we, have, we must walk on water with him. All you will all you will drown. Don't drown because the enemy come like a flood. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, my friend. Yes, my friend. Can I read this short uh, statement made by a brother in the Lord in reference to the T.B. Joshua situation? Yes. Mm -hmm. To help everybody on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, I have my own views, which are known about T.B. Joshua and other papas. I have had more questions about everything. However, the so-called two years investigation by BBC and the documentary is merely the version of a few people of T.B. Joshua disciples. No independent verification of the facts, but a story based on the defectors. It contains, he said, he did this, he was, without really verifying the facts independently. Mm. Where medical people who treated the wounded or carried out the abortions, mm -hmm. why BC failed to balance the document the, the documentary by featuring those who still believe in TB Joshua since it was a so-called investigation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, another documentary could also be done in a similar manner, featuring those who believed in TB Joshua and his miracles. That's right. It could have been done from professional journalists uh, it's like doing a documentary featuring your enemies only. Mm. They bad things, of course. Balance it even if you don't balance it still, even if you don't like the guy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, another factor about it is the media outlet itself, you know, um, is, is uh, non-believer oriented. And, and one of the main witnesses said that she went there because she was trying to overcome lesbianism. Mm -hmm. And then she, then, you know, she, you know, current today, she's back in lesbianism. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the spirits behind um, the, the vessels that the information is coming forth through. That's a whole nother idea question. But, but to take it as face value and run and gossip with it. Mm -hmm. come, on, come on, my friend. That's right. That's right. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know, um, it, it, it's false and it's an attack to the mm -hmm. universe. It's not just TB Joshua. You know, that's a whole nother thing. That's but, right. Yeah. yeah. It's basically, yeah. basically it's man. Watch this. The law was telling me that. It's a sign of the persecution that's coming globally. Mm -hmm. So an attack on one general means there's war. Mm -hmm. So everybody, that's a sign of a global persecution coming on a global scale. The Lord told me this. He said, you realize it's the black culture. What did I tell you? That in the end times, it will be the blacks and Hispanics that will carry the end time move. So the enemy is attacking what? Mm -hmm. You realize T.D. Jakes is all black leaders. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's signs. That's why everybody hear from Jesus who not from anything else. Let him tell you. It'll keep you. It'll keep your heart pure. But let's finish that one. Let's finish that one. After the war. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Luke 6. 26. We'll just repeat and continue, my friend, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Mm -hmm. But I say to you which hear, love your enemies, mm. do good to them which hate you. Mm. Bless them that curse you. There you go. Bless them that curse you. Mm -hmm. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Mm. And unto him that smiteth thee on the <laughs> offer also the other. That means if someone if someone slap you on the cheek, you gotta offer the other one. Come on, somebody. God, uh, two cheeks slap. Two cheeks, come on now, face to face. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I might get smacked them all my <laughs> Ain't feel good. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and you go. 
And him that taketh away that cloak forbid not to take that coat also. Everybody heard that? If somebody take your money or anything, bless them with look. If somebody take your money and you find them, don't ask for the money back. Give them another ten dollars. Bless them. That's what you're saying. If they take your coat, give them the other. Mm -hmm. Give to every man that asked of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. Don't. Ooh. All right, you got to read that one because that's the hard one for many people. Uh huh. I'm about give to go deep. To Give to every man that acts of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods. Dude, ask, them. ask them not. So, women, if that girl take your man, girl, have him. In Jesus' name. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. If someone take your husband or your wife or anything, the phone got quiet. Now I'm getting my husband back. I pray for this one. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. If someone take thy goods, don't wow. ask me back. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. So mm -hmm. Keep going. It does more. Mm -hmm. Everybody and as you would that men do to you, do you also to them likewise. Likewise. Amen. For if ye love them which love you, what thing have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. Mm -hmm. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thing have ye? For sinners also do even the same. Mm. And if ye lend to them of whom ye would hope to receive, mm. what the, for sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much gain, as That's much right. again. But love your enemies and do good and lend, having hoping for nothing again, and your That's reward right. will be great. For no ye are children of the Most High, mm. for he is kind unto the unthankful. And to the evil. Everybody see that? He is kind. That's who the father is. He is kind to the unthankful and evil. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it goes up to 49, my friend. Just let yeah, you know. Let's see. We can end, we can end well, there. We can end there. All right. Yeah, we can end it. So, amen. It's midnight. Please remember to bring your vision board tomorrow. Hey, if also spread the news to others, those who are believing things in their heart that desire, invite them on also with the same vision board and we'll touch and agree for heaven on earth in Jesus' name. So amen and amen and amen. Well, it's midnight. God bless each and every one of you for coming on the Zoom. Tomorrow, by grace, we'll be on at 9 p.m. to be about the Father's business. In Jesus' name. So, amen. So, love you all. God bless you all. Have a good morning. Shalom. Come on, come on.